Man, I'm bush. I got no motivation at all. And Mono Fanny's period is late too. Um, Father, why do you know Mono Fanny's cycle? And Never mind that. Perhaps his lack of motivation is due to a lack of hibernation. Yeah. Lack of hibernation? Yeah, I haven't been sleeping well lately, so I haven't really been able to hibernate. That's awful. What could be causing it? Is it because you have a law in your mind? Is it because the graveyard shift pays a better hourly wage? Is it because you don't want them to think you're just goofing around? Is it because you want to stay friends? Is it because you want to watch in real time? Father? He's gone into hibernation. We should let him be. Yeah, you're right. Night night. Death flag. I'll be surprised if he doesn't die after that. More importantly, let's continue the conversation where we left off. We understand Mew plotted the murder, but we need to find out who killed her. And in order to figure that out, we need to understand Mew's actions. So let's discuss her murder scheme step by step. I know that's important, but hearing you lead the conversation really pisses me off. Let's see. You manipulated the virtual world to use it as part of her murder plan. Don't just ignore me and start anyway. If she had succeeded, she would have gone past the wall between the chapel and mansion. And then WHAM! Murdered me on the roof with the hammer. She would make the murder seem like it happened in the real world, and then pin it on Kaito. As for Mew's alibi in the real world, she could say she was locked into the virtual world. And in the virtual world, she could say she was near the chapel the entire time. She'd make an excuse about how she couldn't reach the mansion because of the fallen bridge. Whoops, my hand slipped. She dropped the bridge on purpose so she could separate the chapel from the mansion. Then secretly passed through the wall she installed and took advantage of the loop. After, she headed to where we were supposed to meet up, the mansion's rooftop. Oh yeah. Kaito was probably logged out around that time, too. That's when I saw Mew. Problem is, because of her murder plans, we don't even know where she was killed. She was killed on the roof, right? Kokichi told us the roof door was locked and that he couldn't get through. Maybe that when culprit killed her. That's probably what happened. The culprit killed her on the locked roof. Did the culprit lock the door to the roof? Perhaps. I don't think Mew did it. If Mew did lock it, she would have done it when she called Kokichi to the roof. Even if someone came up, I don't believe she would change the target of her plan. She knew that Kokichi would come up later, 
locking the door would be suspicious. Well, it's possible she didn't even think that far ahead. She was smart, but she was also really, really dumb. No say such mean things! Killing game bad, not Mew. Mew not bad person. Grown to think we could have been friends, if things different. That might have been difficult, even without this killing game. That didn't happen. Nuh uh. No way, Jose! Huh? Anyway, let's continue the discussion. If Mew was killed on the roof of the mansion, the culprit must have moved Mew's avatar to the chapel after killing her, right? So the next thing we should talk about is how they moved her avatar. Now we know the mansion and chapel were actually next to each other. But the problem is the wall between them. Only Mew was able to go through that wall. The culprit wouldn't have been able to. And you're saying the culprit sent Mew's avatar through that wall? Yeah, that's the only way, right? But how did the culprit send Mew's avatar through the wall? I mean, it's not like they could have thrown her. Go to not throw her! We know. You couldn't because the avatar's physical strength was equalized. Physical strength equalized? That problem! Gonta no can protect everyone if that happens! Jeez, keep up with us. We're already in the second half of the class trial. Hmm. How did they send Mew's avatar to the other side of the wall? Maybe that thing has something to do with it. You know, the loud sound you heard? What? What was that sound? Because of that sound, you guys went to the side of the chapel. Right, Keyboy? That's when you found the dead Mew there, right? If so, then I think that sound and her avatar being by the chapel are related. Yes, there's no doubt in my mind that the noise is related to his case. We need to figure out what that sound could have been. It might be the clue we need to solve this case. So what was it? It sounded like something slamming hard into something else. So what were those two things? It could be... The hammer hitting the wall... Mew hitting the wall? That's it! I think the sound came from Mew's avatar hitting the... The hammer, cell phone, and lattice were there. But they were too small to make that noise. Ruling those out, the only other explanation is that the sound was Mew colliding with a wall. If that's the case, Mew's avatar must have hit the chapel wall really hard. He felt the impact all the way from the inside of the chapel. Yeah, that's the real question. Mew's avatar probably hit the chapel's wall with pretty considerable force. But why did it hit the wall with such force? Can you guys figure it out? Hold on, Kokichi. What's up with the way you're talking? Why are you talking like you know everything? Let's not worry about that right now. More importantly, we gotta solve the mystery. Fighting among friends is a waste of time. Who says we were friends with friends? you? Friends? Us? Anyway, can we talk about that after we figure this problem out? A way of transporting Mew's avatar that would cause it to crash into the chapel. Getting Mew's avatar to crash into the chapel from the mansion's roof. There's only one way I can think of how to do that. Hey, Shuichi, as your partner, I'll give you a little hint. You what? <laughs> Since the mansion was on top of a hill, the roof was pretty high up, right? 
Past the brick handrail, the roof was at a pretty steep slope. And the slope faced the chapel wall. On top of that, there was snow on the roof. If the culprit needed force to move the body, I wonder how they did it. Tokichi is talking as if he's got the whole thing figured out already. But I can't let him distract me. I need to solve the case. How to make Miyu hit the chapel wall from the roof of the mansion? I'm going to find the answer. Didn't, didn't they just like roll her from the roof? Uh... Is there an R? Huh? Oh, so is the first word slid? S L I D. Okay. Okay, is there an H? Is it slid her down? What the heck is a monokuma thing? Huh? Is there an H? Huh? Oh, is it slid off? And then what's the third word? Uh... R? O? Slid off... What the heck is this? Oh, slid off roof! I see now! I think I made no mistakes in that. I just have to think for a while. Could use the sloped roof as a slide for Mew's avatar. Slide? Aw, oh, man. Even with the slope and the snow, Mew's body wouldn't have slid. Wrong. It would slide. But the avatars can generate friction. We wouldn't have been able to walk otherwise. So I doubt that it would have had that much momentum. No, no. It would slide. It wouldn't slide, just like Maki Roll said. It would slide, just like Shumai said. Shumai? Who the hell is Shumai? Oh, he's a pupil of Ramen Man. Uh, sorry, my hobby slipped in. I'm positive that's how Mia's avatars move, but maybe the culprit used something else as well oh, to help her body slide. Oh, is it the thing? The the little wall thing? The lattice. Even if her avatar slid off the roof, would it slide off that quickly? Well, duh, it would. I did not mean to do that. If it made that much noise, it must have built up a lot of speed. Lots of snow piled up on the roof. That was solid, right? It'd still slide, though. In the real world, it might be difficult. But in the virtual world, perhaps not. That's not the issue. Sliding down snow is easy to do. You just need a sled or skis to cut the friction. There was nothing like that. That's wrong! No, wait! There was something that could have been used to help slide Mew's body. Do you remember the lattice that was found by Mew's avatar? The culprit laid her on top of that, then used it as a sled on the roof. I did notice the lattice in the storage room when I first looked. During the investigation, I saw that it was gone. 
The lattice that was found next to the chapel is the one that disappeared from the roof? Then that's it. The culprit used the lattice as a sled. That's what I'm saying. Ding, ding, ding. That's correct. After the culprit killed me on the rooftop, I like the little character of the culprit there. It just looks cute. And slid her down the roof's steep slope. The sled picked up speed, flew off the roof, glided through the wall only objects could pass through, and hit the chapel. made all of her belongings scatter, including the hammer and cell phone. Just like that hedgehog who loses all his rings whenever he crashes into stuff. I... I hate that guy and his worldwide fame and his stupid games and I... hate that hedgehog! Daddy, I'm glad you're feeling motivated again, but you shouldn't be so hateful. Well, that would be an example to our new family. Yeah, Father. Or should I start calling you Grandfather now? Now that we know how the body slid down, we're just one step away from the culprit. Well, Shuichi, do you know who the culprit is? The culprit? Still need to guess the culprit, huh? But Gonta can't believe one of us killed you. However, since we know she was killed on the roof, we can narrow down the list of suspects. Meaning, the culprit must be someone who was investigating the mansion. Aside from you, the people at the chapel could not go through the wall or cross the river. So that means... The suspects are Kaito, Samugi, Shuichi, and Gonta. That's real sneaky, leaving yourself off the list. <laughs> oh, you got me. That's right, five suspects. Me, Sumugi, Gonta, Kukichi, and Kaito. We don't know enough to, na to name the culprit yet, but one of them is suspicious. When we were all talking about the rooftop, they clearly lied. But what reason would they have, li have to lie? I'll need to press them for information before making any judgments. Is it Shuichi? It's you! Kokichi, there's something I need to know. Hmm, what do you need to know? Why did you lie just now? Which lie are you talking about? I lie a lot, so you'll need to jog my memory. Fine. I'll expose your lie right now. Also, I never went to the roof. Not even for the meeting. It all began when Mio showed us the map. That's probably what happened. The culprit killed her on the locked roof. It was that testimony that bothered me. 